identify them later on. Uh, you probably have access to some sort of camera phone like this. Um, but if you want to take a step up to the next level, a lot of people now are going for these bridge cameras. Now this is halfway between a compact camera and a single lens reflex, an SLR camera, which the professionals would use. And with an SLR, obviously you can put different lenses on for different purposes. But with these bridge cameras, you get an extremely powerful uh, zoom lens. Uh, this one's 35 times, so it got up to about 50 now, I think. Um, but you've only got the one lens. That does mean it's not always going to be ideal for every purpose. Now, the other thing with a single lens on your camera is that it's, uh, it's very vulnerable to damage. So most people think of protecting their lens as putting a lens cap on. Well, that's all well and good. As soon as you take the lens cap off to use the camera, the lens is exposed to any sort of damage uh, and if you bash into something, you're going to ruin your camera. So here's a tip my wife, who is a professional photographer, uh, gave to me. Um, get a very cheap uh, filter adapter, which then just screws onto the front of your camera and then you can just screw on a, a cheap UV filter and that will take all the knocks uh, for you. So if you scratch that, it's only four or five pounds rather than your whole camera having to be replaced. But of course, once you've got that adapter on there, it opens up all sorts of possibilities. So this is a polarizing filter. That's used for shooting through reflective surfaces like water. Um, when you try and photograph things that are under the water, you always get a reflection and a glare. And this actually cuts all of that out. And again, it just screws simply onto your adapter on the front of the camera. And there you go, you can shoot. So I've also been rereading an old copy of White Admiral, which is the Suffolk Naturalist Society's newsletter. This is a spring 2014 edition, and it's got a really interesting article by Martin Cooper on macro photography. Now, macro photography is usually a pretty expensive affair, um, but again, with, with this adapter on, we've got the opportunity to buy a macro lens adapter and this is the Raynox one, M150, but there are various ones out there. And that's literally just got a spring clip on it. You clip it to the front of your lens and there you go. Uh, a really powerful zoom macro lens for a fraction of the cost that you'd spend on a, on a proper lens. So there are lots of different options for your bridge camera. And I'm going to go out now and see what this macro lens can do. And uh, I'll show you some of the results. And this one, again, just screws onto the front, quite simply. <laughs> Under the water surface. And that literally, again, just screws onto your adapter. And so you've got uh, a good polarising filter there for underwater. <laughs> God, I did this in one take before. With those cameras, you can change the lenses on those cameras. Lenses on there. Welcome to Sheldon Cooper's Fun With Flags. <laughs>